Our top story tonight, the Bibb County Sheriff's Office still looking for a teenager wanted for questioning in the shooting death of Kenneth Sneed. The shooting happened Friday off Mercer University Drive. Ashlyn Webb took a closer look at the person of interest, Robert Ottman Jr. and his background. Ashlyn is live to tell us what she found out, including Ottman's recent release from the Bibb County Jail. Good evening, Frank. We confirmed that up until about a month ago, Robert Ottman Jr. was being held here at the Bibb County Jail for armed robbery charges, but was released after making bond. Robert Ottman Jr. seen here is wanted for questioning in the murder of 25 year old Kenneth Sneed. According to coroner Leon Jones, Sneed was Ottman's half brother. According to Bibb County Sheriff's Office, the shooting happened just before noon Friday on Mercer University Drive near Blossom Hill Apartments. But it happened just a month after Ottman was released from jail. It's very disturbing if we have someone that's let out on bond and commits a new violent felony. This is one of at least three cases this year where a person of interest in a murder case had recently been released from jail. Bibb County Sheriff's Office says Ottman was released February 23rd of this year. According to documents from the Superior Court Clerk's Office, Ottman was indicted and charged with two counts of armed robbery when he was around 16 years old. According to the indictment, Ottman and another man were accused of taking Apple AirPods and an iPhone from two people using a pistol. Last September, a judge set bond at $10,000, but he did not make bond until February. Mayor Lester Miller says cases like this show there should be more conversations about who is eligible for bond, especially for violent offenses. I do think you have to take a closer look at the violent felonies and those in particular that involve guns. Uh, and we have to take a different approach on those because the recidivism rate for those who uh, commit violent felonies and later get a gun uh, is pretty high. Miller says there's been two cases similar to this this year. Anthony Walker and Zontravian Hernandez were both charged with murder in separate cases after recently being released from jail, according to Bibb County Sheriff's Office. Walker posted bond for criminal trespass and battery two months before he was charged with killing his girlfriend, Brenda Settles. Hernandez bonded out for charges including murder and aggravated assault a little over seven months before he was arrested for allegedly murdering Amori Searcy in March. So we would have saved at least three lives in that situation. And Bibb County Sheriff's Office says they're still searching for Ottman for questioning. He still at this point has not been charged. Reporting in Megan, Ashlyn Webb, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thank you, Ashlyn. Now, bond is set by a judge, and we spoke to former District Attorney David Cook, whose staff handled all three cases last year. He said Anthony Walker received bond because the previous charges against him were misdemeanors. However, Cook says his office asked the judge not to grant bond for Zontravian Hernandez when he was charged with murder last year. In a statement, Cook wrote, quote, My administration opposed bond for Mr. Hernandez because of the danger we believe he posed to us all.